Hello and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, I want to talk about communication. It is through communication, the sharing and working through of ideas together that solutions are found and new ideas are born. In my family, it's been said that we're bad communicators. And it's ironic because we talk all the time, but I think some of what happens is that we talk past each other and we don't really hear and we don't always understand where the other person is coming from. Now, my two nieces are, um, when they were growing up, I noticed kind of early that they didn't always enjoy playing with each other. Um, they're the same age. They are very strong personalities and very artistic, but in different ways. One is very energetic, embracing, and always ready for the next thing. And the other one really likes to sit in her space and focus intensely on getting something done. And whenever they tried to play with each other, they, um, they would end up annoying each other and kind of upset with each other um, and sometimes hurting each other's feelings. And one day I heard them coming into the kitchen and I could hear that they were planning to make something that they could play an imaginary game with. I could hear that one of them wanted to make a spaceship and the other wanted to make a submarine. But because of that disagreement on what to make, they ended up upset with each other. They ended up not playing with each other. Instead, they got so upset with each other, one of them ended up crying and they just went separate ways, right? And the saddest thing is they're both brilliant, but they just couldn't figure it out together. I observed, I listened, but I didn't interject at that point. Um, and But as kids do, a few hours later, they wanted to play with each other again. And they gravitated towards each other. They started talking. But this time, they got annoyed and frustrated with each other even faster. And at that moment, I interjected. I said, look, both of you want to play with each other. But you keep wanting to control how the other is going to play. Each of you is pulling and tugging and wanting to tell the other, you got to play this way. Earlier, one of you wanted to uh, create a submarine. The other one wanted to create a spaceship. And instead of playing, you went separate ways, upset with each other, because you couldn't agree on what to make. But what if you had combined your ideas? And what if you had created a spaceship that had submarine capabilities so that when you went up into space and discovered new planets and you found a new place that had water, you could just dive in there and explore what was going on in there? What if you had done that? That's an idea that is expansive. That's something, <laughs> right? That's an idea that is bigger than a simple submarine and a simple rocket. And that's something that would have allowed you to just have fun playing with each other. Now, how many of us get so stuck on our ideas that we often aren't able to see the value in the other person's idea? Even in situations where that idea could actually make our idea better. And in that moment, I said something to my nieces and nephews, uh, nieces, because for several years I had seen and noticed that eh, if if they don't figure out how to work together, they could easily decide, ah, it's too hard. I don't like playing with her. It's too difficult, right? And I could see that if they don't notice that this tug of war that they keep getting caught in, in they would find themselves destroying the relationship. Both of them wanted to have more control, more control, and more control over how they played together. And that insistence on control is something that's very destructive to relationships. What if you relinquished some of that control, listened intensely, and really sought out a third way that brings your ideas together, that creates something that is bigger, better, 
more enjoyable, more fun, and just overall better for everybody involved. What if it is through communication, the sharing and working through ideas that we find solutions and we give birth to new ideas. And with that, thank you so much. In solidarity, always.